to the internet, lots of people are getting their time limit converted to the one right out of their driveway. In this area? Yep. Well, we better do something about that because we don't want that storm out of ours, that's for sure. Those are expensive nope. to replace. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go look up something that we can use. All right, honey, I think this will work. This is a dash cam, but it also has motion sensing. So if somebody walks around the car to try to steal the catalytic converter, we'll set off the motion sensor and we'll record them. Ooh, good. All right, so we got our user manual. USB and an easy pry tool right there so we can plug it into the computer and get the stuff off of it. The actual windshield mount. The cigarette lighter for power. And this must be the most important part of all. Yes, and there it is. So we got our front facing camera, our rear facing camera, our LCD readout. Oh, that's easy to pivot too. That would be nice. We'll start with our windshield mount. Take the plastic piece off. You see right there, you have the lock unlocked, so we're going to start with unlocked, and probably be about right there. Push it up and lock it into place, and now it's got a really good seal on the windshield. The part that we use to unlock and lock it to the windshield is also where the GPS is. So it'll give you the readout on the screen as to how fast you're going. I already took the plastic piece, plastic film off, but here's our little latch right there. Slips right in. Nice pivot here. Loosen that, we got a nice pivot there. Tighten it down, and then this is a nice pivot as well. Nice long cord so we could run it around so we don't have any wires in the way. Just plug it in there, hang it up over the. Plug it in. Memory card, that's important, yes. You can insert up to a 256 gig memory card right there. And I got myself a little one right here that we're gonna use. Just gonna stick it in there. All right, so we got our buttons on the bottom here. So we go to the menu button. Oh, we're recording, so I'm gonna turn off recording for now. Set our resolution. If we have the front camera at 4K, then we can't use the rear camera, so that's why we're set to 1080p for both of those. So we got a few different features here. Motion detection. This is only going to work if we hardwire this to the battery, because most cars the cigarette lighter turns off when the car's off, so that won't work when the car's not running. So I'll put in the link description a um, the link for the hardwire kit. So right now we're going to leave that off and we'll just test it out once we get our setup. One of the left to right buttons we can see inside the cap. We can see both flips it or just in front. So that's really neat. It's got all of the symbols right here on the side to tell you what's turned on, what's turned off. And the record, press OK, and it starts to record. So we're gonna test the motion sensor. She walked in front and you can see how it's recording now. So as soon as something is detected in its field of view, it starts recording. Really 
The dash cam was great. It has great pivoting, easy to move around, takes great video footage, has night vision. We were able to turn on the motion sensor and catch the boys doing something they weren't supposed to. Records inside the, ca the um, cab of the car, has different hookups so you can copy the files off without having to take the micro out. Just all around a uh, great product to have for a dash cam in your car. If you'd like this, click on the link below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Watch what happened last time.